am Liz from Arrow Acres Alpaca Farm in Wall, New Jersey, and I'm going to show you how I make dryer balls. Um, so you will need a bowl of hot water. I like Dawn dish soap. If you're going to be selling them, I recommend a scale, a bowl to fit on your scale so that the fiber doesn't go crazy, raw alpaca fiber, the bottom of st a stocking. This is, I like an opaque one. It's not the soft kind, the really soft kind. Ladies, you'll know what I'm talking about. Men, ask the ladies in your life. Um, it's opaque, but it's, and it's a little bit thicker. I really like it. Works for me. So six inches or so. You can also um, cut them all the way up the leg, cut them a little bit longer and tie the bottom but I prefer the toe. The other ones work great if you're doing it in class. And some carded fiber. So the way that our mill sends it to us is in this nice uh, brown paper, it's rolled up. So we have nice big sheets of it. Um, that's what I like to use. So first, you wanna weigh your fiber. Turn your scale on. I get so that I pre-package a whole bunch of these so that I can make a bunch at a time. My hands can only handle 10 to 12 in one sitting and then they start to cramp up because you'll see I make them really quickly. Um, so when it's in the bowl, it's a corral bowl, it's, you know, it fills it up. But when you squeeze it down, you know, it fits right in my hand. So this is raw. This is from the legs, from the neck. I keep anything that's not um, super, super hairy, guard hair. Um, because that stuff kind of tends to migrate out and you don't want alpaca hair on your clean clothes. Okay, so you wanna weigh this out, weigh it to 1.8 ounces. The reason I do that is because after I wrap it in the carded fiber, they come out over two ounces and it's a nice size, um, so it works for me and I'm not using too much fiber. So that has already been weighed. I'm gonna get my carded fiber. Normally I do this inside on the counter and I just keep the, my bat to my right and everything's all set up. Also, when you use your towels, use older ones cause they, you know, like when you leave them in the washing machine too long, they get like a funky smell. They tend to do that after a few times. So I use the same towels every time and I wash them at the end in the washing machine with my dryer balls, okay? So step one. Well, after you weigh it. Wad your fiber up into your hand. Hold it as tight as you can. This is dirty. I haven't washed this or anything. I did shake it out a little bit when I weighed it, but it's fine. You're going to be putting it in soapy water and you're going to finish it in the washing machine. I don't have any problems. So take this. Now, with your carded fiber, start at a corner. Wrap it up and over. I hope this isn't too far away for you guys. And tightly, almost like a burrito, fold in one side, roll it a little bit. Fold in the other side, roll it a little bit. Rip it. See how that rips right off? I'm just gonna put this away. Now I've got this big loose end here. So I have this nice tight wad here, and this big loose. So I want to take my other hand, smooth it up and over and around. If you've ever made fresh mozzarella, same thing. No big seams, right? So now I have it in my left hand. I can't see any, I try to use a different color fiber on the inside so that I can tell that I've got good coverage on here. Now my bat is pretty thick, kind of, so um, like I said, like one turn fold, another half turn fold. It's like two layers and it covers pretty well. Now put the stocking on your other hand and grab the dryer ball. Tuck in that end of that carded fiber, pop it in the stocking. So now I have my hot water and this is as hot as my tap will go. Um, you don't need boiling water or anything. And then you need a little bit of soap 
and I like it so that when you put your fingers in the water to mix it, your fingers feel slippery, but your, your water isn't super, super bubbly. Here, I'll show you the water. That's how bubbly it is. You do not need a ton of soap for this. More soap actually makes it more complicated. So dunk and squeeze out all the air. Okay? Your water's gonna get dirty right away. Don't worry. I get through about mm, five maybe before I have to change the water because it's so gross. So now I squeeze out most of that water. Okay? And now quickly, quickly, quickly. So I'm rubbing my hand, I'm squishing, and I'm turning. And I'm constantly doing that. So even my thumb is kind of rubbing this way while my fingers are rubbing that way and my hands are rubbing the other way. So you want to do this and make sure you're not just going one direction. You want to be turning this thing to get every which way. So I have been wet felting for about 15 years and it's actually how our family got into alpacas. I learned how to make felt balls, little dryer, they weren't dryer balls, they were just felt balls, they were little. Um, in actually an art class in college, the professor um, didn't want to cancel the first day of class because we didn't have our supplies. Normally they just hand out the supply list, tell you what we're gonna do and then you get dismissed early. And we sat around and she taught us how to make felt and I totally fell in love with it. And my parents, took me to the Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival that year and I got lots of stuff for felting and I totally fell in love with it. Okay, so what was that? A minute? Two minutes? Pop it out of the stocking. You'll see it's fuzzy. It's still really soft, but it's starting to felt on the outside. So now you want to take this Dunk it again, roll it a little bit, squeeze out a little bit of that extra, and felt. All right, so now you can start squeezing it, compressing it a little bit more, a little harder, um, and that's gonna help felt the inside stuff. I find that doing this at the counter is a nice height because I'm not bending over too much. So right now I'm outside and we have like a pub height table and this works really well too. Unless you can get comfortable at a table. I don't like a table because you're sitting like this if you're sitting down and all the water is dripping down your elbows and ugh, this is dirty. All right. So I'm just gonna do this for another minute or two. And this won't be rock hard, um, but it will be felted. And once I get about a dozen made, I will pop my dirty towel or towels because the water will soak all the way through if you're making a bunch. And my dryer balls in the washing machine. I dunked it again because it felt a little too dry. You, always, you want it to feel slick, the slippery. The soap should make it feel slippery. But you can see I don't have a ton of soap. I'm not like, it's not crazy. I don't know what I was just saying, sorry. But I thought that was important. Okay, so I would say I'm done with this one by hand. Um, and I would go ahead and start my next one. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna get some of the soap off so you can see it. So it's pretty smooth. It's not all hairy like it was. If I do the pinch test, I mean it's, it's felted. Yeah, some of this is a little loose here, but it's gonna, oh, if you have anything like this, pull it off. You can rub it in. It'll felt, oh, that's the piece I tried to throw away, but it didn't go in the wind. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all this needs. It's much firmer than it was when it started, but still like, I could still squish it. But they firm up in the washing machine and the dryer, so. Why waste time doing it when the washing machine can do it for you, right? So that's it. That's how I make my dryer balls. And I sell them by the dozen. 
I sell them in our little farm store on the weekends. And we're open Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, and many weeks I sell out on Friday. So good luck. I hope this helped you. If you have questions, please let me know.